sometimes people think if you're a blogger or an influencer that your house always looks perfect. In an effort to show more real life and find some time to fix some problems, I'm gonna show you a few dirty little secrets. Case in point. So when we were getting the house appraised, we literally threw this curtain on there to hide that there was just a hole. And I was always gonna build shelves back here and cupboards and drawers and build this thing out on the island. Well, that didn't happen. And now, after nine months of living here, it's- you can't wash them. It drags on the floor and yeah, it's stapled to the back here. So we've never pulled it off. And it's just a black hole of pots and pans. It's so bad. It's disorganized. We're gonna try to fix it a little bit. I don't have time to build Build this out because we're waiting on an ice maker. We gotta see how that's gonna fit in here. But yeah, it's gotta get fixed. It's gotta be better than this. I have a brand new clean shower curtain that I'm gonna put up here, but we've gotta put a rod so we can take it on and off like the one under our sink and wash it. I also need to make it shorter so it's not dragging the ground and we can clean it. Plus, we finished our floors six months before we finished the house. And between contractors and us, it was hammered before we even moved in. Let's talk about the white wax that got on the floor and made it look cloudy. And Jamie sanded it in the middle of the night. In a fit of rage about 2 a.m., I took the sander and sanded this floor because I thought, well, maybe that would look better if it was distressed. It did not. We're using a product that we don't prefer because we like milk paint, but we need something that we can just paint and be done. So we'll be your guinea pigs and we'll show you in six months how that holds up. So the milk paint is actually wearing the way that we would like, but we have no subfloor. So each individual board flexes and moves. It's just sitting on floor joists below. And so as it moves, it like cracks up the paint plus we probably should have put like two or three more coats of sealer on it. We didn't have time. And then, like I said, six months of contractors going in and out without covering it. I mean, really, we probably should have just waited and did it right before we moved in, but we wouldn't have had time anyway, so it's fine. This is pretty much trash. We have a new one. We're just gonna get rid of it or okay. use it as a drop pot. That we'll wash it. Man, what did I staple this up here with? So I stapled it with the air compressed. Oh, the pneumatic gun, nailer. The nailer, literally five minutes before the uh, appraiser came, I was in a hurry. I cut this sucker in half and stapled it up. I remember our tile guy was here because he was finishing up and he's like, that is brilliant. I can't believe you just pulled that out. And I was like, listen, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. But now it's gotta go because it's disgusting. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna hand you stuff. Hold oh, on, my butt's in the camera. Oh, kids have been putting stuff away dirty. <laughs> that's a trick from my uh, back, that's that's age old. I, I did that a couple times myself, and then I blamed it on my brothers. Imagine this with drawers that pull out 2029, right? That's when we're gonna get this done. I've got our tallest stock pot here and just going to measure that. All right. Just a little mark there. Back here in the corner. As long as your floor is level, you can just lock your tape measure and have that set your height. If your floor is not level, you're probably gonna to wanna to mark one side, get your level out, mark the other side. these left over from building closets and they have the hook on the front not the right not the right supports but I think that's gonna work really well to support it right down there now I'm going to actually hang a curtain rod so it doesn't have to be stapled up and just using these, I'm gonna put this one, I like to put it kind of at an angle so that you can slip it out easy in tight spaces. I cut this with my angle grinder. It's a heavy duty metal rod. And I gave myself about a quarter inch. 
So it does have a little bit of play and we are good to go. I've been living with a hole in the floor for probably four months. So well, yeah. it was previously filled and I didn't know it and whatever was filled did not stand the test of time. Yeah, and so stuff likes to like go down in the hole and it's disgusting. This is just Bondo. So leave it just a little bit proud because it likes to drag and it's goopy. And then you can come back and sand it. 80 grit sands it down pretty fast. If you make sure it's dry, it dries and hardens in about 15 minutes. So we did have some metal bar stools here and they did kind of beat up the floor. So we're going to make sure we have good felt pads on the new ones because the kids sliding them in and out. Scraping your floor isn't something a six and seven, eight year old, nine year old worry about. Yeah, they don't care. So we're gonna try to do it. And you know what? Every couple of years we might have to come back and repaint this. And this looks like it's just DIY paint right here. Can't blame this on the kids. No, that's, that's on me. Oh, and it's gone now. Okay, go. The moment you've all been waiting for, this paint is thick. Yeah, I told you. It's, it's enamel. Like gelatinous. Does it look cleaner? Oh, it's looking better already. This is pure white mixed up. Um, same color as our walls. So I'm just gonna go this far back. We're gonna be doing it in sections. So I'm gonna stop where we have a line. It says two coats in high traffic areas. So we got four gallons of it. This is really satisfying. She's been wanting to repaint this since she sanded it in January. Yeah, it's it's time. Look how good that looks. Oh, so I'm just gonna smooth it out here. It's hard to roll this It's off. supposed to sit down at a level and be self-leveling, so we'll see. Maybe we'll be the judge of that. All total, we ended up doing two coats of satin and two coats of gloss to get the finish on here. So four coats of paint total. So we let this sit on here for a couple days and it was already painted on pretty much. So we're having to cut the tape off. And then I'm just repainting some of the baseboards where they need to be touched up. I actually painted them not too long ago. And then behind where I couldn't get to, <laughs> there was no paint. So I had, I'm painting down there. I mean, nobody will see it, but I will know. So we found these sliders that have like these earmuff things on them and this is gonna help protect our newly painted floor anytime we have to move big pieces. Um, normally I can just help Zeb like carry it but occasionally my arms give out and so I think this is gonna be the best option. <laughs> so we already have felt on the bottom of this piece of furniture so that way it won't stick to the floor. It's mostly dry but we don't want it to peel up later. We actually put felt underneath all of our furniture, all of our chairs, bar stools. It, goes, it like falls off over time, so we just have to be diligent to make sure everything has felt. What? So I wanna center it like on the fireplace. Okay, we've got these curtains Jamie sewed up. It was originally a shower curtain and now it's the right length, hopefully not drag on the ground. We measured, I think everything's good there. That way it doesn't get super nasty from our feet bumping up against it and stepping on it and everything. Every time we mopped, it would get dirty from the mop. Yeah, it was just gross. The other thing is I can take them off and wash them. And about once a month, I will wash the one under the kitchen sink or as needed, it's not too bad. I've got our handy Jiffy steamer here. This gets used about every day around this house. It lives in the laundry room, but small enough that we can move it around the house where we need to.
I never thought I was much of a runner person, but we get a lot of water and like mess that drips down in front of the kitchen and the dishwasher, mostly just from kids doing dishes. And these fit in the washing machine really easy, so I'm just gonna lay this down here, kind of protect the floors and give you something soft to stand on when you're doing the dishes. Mostly it's Redrick, that's his chore. He does the dishes. Oh, this needs to be How painted. did the north, south, east, west get upside down on that? It's been that way since we moved. <laughs> Just a slight rearrangement. Yeah, just a gorge. With gourds. Fall. Even though that says fresh flower market, I'll have time to make a new sign. Fresh flower market. And dried gourds. Deb took down the window that was there because it had a wreath on it, which is screwed on. And luckily, I'm a window hoarder, so we're just gonna put up a new window that's a little bit more simple. Maybe, maybe we'll get it up here. <laughs> so if you give a mouse a cookie, she's gonna want you to paint her floors. <laughs> Zeb and I were just gonna do the island, and I was like, well, we can't film the island um, and putting a new curtain up with those floors. And the floors wound up taking basically a week to cure to even get in here. So it's been a long process. I didn't even get to the pantry, which I thought we would. So we'll have to do that clean and decorate the pantry in another video. And yeah, so I love it. I love the floors. I'm glad they're done. Yeah, they're gonna be good. They're nice and clean. The kids have been skating across them because we're making everybody wear socks in here still because it's still tacky. I've never used an enamel paint on a floor before. So I'm hoping that it does cure hard. It says it's supposed to happen in three days and we're on like day four. Still a little sticky. And if you walk in here in your bare feet and stand somewhere like at the sink for a minute or two, it's still, you can feel it like want to lift or stick your feet to it. So we're in socks for a while. If you want to shop some of the products that you've seen us use here in our home, some of the home decor, be sure to hit up jamierayvintage.com. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.